Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at PersianPod101.com. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 Minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. In this series, you're going to learn basic Persian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself in Persian. There are only two sentences you need to learn. But first, it is important to clarify that in Persian, there is a difference between formal and informal language. First, let's see how Persian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Salam, man anitam. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam. Man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Start by saying salam, which means hi. Then say man. I, your name, and then am, which means to be or am. Salam. Man Anita. Persian word order is different than English. Word for word, this literally means hi, I, Anita, am. Finally, say as didanet khoshbakhtam. This means nice to meet you. Salam, man Anita, am. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Now let's look at the same sentence in formal speech. Salam, man Anita hastam. Az didan shoma khoshbakhtam. Hello, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam. Man Anita hastam. Az didan shoma khoshbakhtam. So, what has changed from the informal introduction? Let's take a closer look. The informal man Anita am has turned into man Anita hastam. In both cases, Man stands for I or me. Hastam means am, and it's added to the end of the formal introduction instead of just am. Am is actually just the short version of hastam, which is the to be verb conjugated for the first person. Finally, pay attention to how nice to meet you changes. We went from as didanet khoshbakhtam to Az didane shoma khoshbakhtam. Here, didanet and didane shoma are different. Didanet is used when speaking informally to only one person. It is formed by adding et, meaning your, to the end of didan, meaning seeing or meeting. In the formal version, instead of et, we add e shoma. Shoma is the formal word for you and can be used whether you're speaking to one person or a group of people. Once again, the informal way to introduce yourself in Persian is Salam, man Anita, az didanet khoshbakhtam. The formal way to introduce yourself is Salam, man Anita hastam, az didane shoma khoshbakhtam. Now it's time for Anita's advice. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Persian culture. And if you're not sure whether to use az didanet khoshbakhtam or az didane shoma khoshbakhtam, you can simply say khoshbakhtam. However, if you use the full correct sentence with Persian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how to say thank you in Persian? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Khoda fez! Salam. Salam. چطوری؟ خوبی؟ من خوبم، تو خوبی؟ من هم خوبم، فردا میبینمت. خدا حافظ. In this lesson we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Iran. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The most commonly used informal greeting is سلام. سلام. سلام means hi or hello. We use it when we meet someone or enter a room with people in it. We can use it as a greeting almost anywhere. After salam, we almost always say, how are you? 
when we greet friends or close relatives. It might seem strange to say it every time, but this is a part of normal everyday conversation in Persian. Let's try out the informal way of saying hello, how are you? Salam, chetori. Chetori. The I in chetori makes this sentence second person. The formal way becomes slightly longer. Add hale shoma, which means your health. Salam, hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore literally means how is your health. We use the word shoma, you, instead of saying chetori to make this more formal. Now, if you remember the first lesson, adding et to a word made it informal. Therefore, if you add et to hal instead of e shoma, you make the whole sentence informal. Salam, halet chetore. Halet chetore. Notice that there are many ways of saying the same phrase in Persian, making it shorter or longer. But remembering the basic words will help you get through almost any conversation. Literally, salam means hello. We use other phrases too, but we always add salam at the start of a greeting. In the morning, we say salam, sob bekhair. Sob bekhair. Sob is Persian for morning, and bekhair means to be good. So it really means wishing you a good morning. In Persian, we don't say good afternoon or good evening very much. Good morning and good night are used more often. During the rest of the day, the most common greeting is just salam. Good night is shab bekhair. Shab bekhair. Notice that we didn't say salam before shab bekhair. That's because we don't say good night when we meet someone. It is only used when leaving. In Persian, there is only one word for saying goodbye, but there is a small difference between the formal and informal versions. Formal, khoda hafez. Khoda hafez. Informal, khoda fez. Khoda fez. Khodaha fez literally means may God protect you, but it is used to say goodbye. Now you have learned many different ways to greet people in Persian. Let's review them all one more time. When meeting friends or relatives, Salam chetori. Salam halet chetore. When meeting a stranger, someone older, or someone we don't know well, Salam halet shoma chetore. To say good morning, Salam sob bekhair. To say good night, shab bekhair. When leaving in a formal situation, khoda hafez. When leaving in an informal situation, khoda fez. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Anita's advice. In formal situations, Persian people of the same gender commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug and kiss each other on both cheeks. Don't be afraid to do this with your Persian friends. And don't be shocked when someone from the same gender tries to hug you or kiss your cheeks. It's perfectly normal. Remember that this is only if both people are the same gender. In Persian-speaking countries like Iran, you cannot shake hands or hug and kiss a person from the other gender in public. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase İngilisi sohbet ne mikonid? Do you already know what this means? I'll be looking forward to talking about it with you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Khodafez! Want to speak real Persian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at persianpod101.com. Kiye? Postchi, yek baste darid. Motshakkaram. Befarmayid. Kheli mamnun. Khwahish mikonam. Salam Bahamegi. Man Anita Hasta. Hi everybody, I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned several of the most common greetings in Persian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking in Persian, you can be sure 
that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal and easy way to say it. Ingilisi baladi. Ingilisi baladi. In Persian, balad means can or to be able to. Adding e to the end makes it an informal question. Ingilisi baladi means can you speak or communicate in English? Literally, it's can you English? However, this is only used in very informal situations with close friends. Now we're going to make this sentence more polite by simply adding it to balad instead of e. It becomes a slightly more formal question. Ingilisi baladit. Ingilisi baladit. But it's always a good idea to be as polite as possible when addressing strangers. Here's the most polite form. Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonit? Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonit? Let's pay close attention to a useful new word here. Aya is a question word used at the start of sentences to turn a regular sentence into a yes or no question. Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid means do you speak English? By adding bebakhshid or excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Bebakhshid, aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? Bebakhshid, aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? If someone replies to you in English, you'll know the answer to your question is yes. But if they answer you in Persian, you might receive one of these responses. Bale. Yes. Bale. Yek kami. A little. Yek kami. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. No, I cannot speak English. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. Or, na, man ingilisi balad nista. No, I can't speak English. Na, man, ingilisi, balad, nista. Since this last example is a negative reply to a yes or no question, we need to say na, meaning no, at the beginning of the sentence. We also said nemikona, meaning don't, after the verb sohbat, meaning talk or speak. Or nistam, meaning am not after the verb balad, meaning can. Combined with sohbat, meaning talk or speak, now you know that sohbat nemikonam means I don't speak, and sohbat mikonid means you speak. Also, nistam is actually the negative version of hastam, but it looks slightly different in the negative form. Verbs and phrases change depending on the person speaking. Now it's time for Anita's advice. Persian people study the English language at school and love to use English, so most people will understand you if you speak to them in simple English. For those of you whose native language is not English, you can use this same basic question for any language you need. Here are some other language names in Persian. Italiai, for Italian. Rusi, for Russian. Espanyai, for Spanish and Almani for German. In this lesson, we mentioned that the expression Bebachshid means excuse me, but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Persian. It's never too late to show your good manners when speaking with Persian people. I'll see you in our next Persian in three minutes lesson. Odafez! آخ میبخشید بله پاتون رو گذاشتین روی پای من وای ببخشید اشکالی نداره خیلی عوض میخوام In this lesson we are going to learn numbers in Persian Yes, numbers Adad From 1 to 10 And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes سه دقیقه Are you ready? Let's start. Yek, yek. Do, do. 
سه سه چهار چهار پنج پنج شش شش هفت هفت هشت هشت نه نه ده ده Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yek. Do. Se. Chahar. Panj. Shish. Half. Hasht. No. Da. Great job. What is before yek? Do you know? It's sefr. Sefr. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Persian. Let's try it together. We'll use the phrase shomare man which means my number is. You say the numbers after that and then finish by saying ast. Shomare man, ast. Shomare man, sefr, no, yek, do, se, se, hasht, haft, chahar, panj, ast. Can you read it by yourself? شماره من سفر نه یک دو سه سه هشت هفت چهار پنج است. Perfect. Now it's time for Anita's advice. You can give your phone number like this, but be careful because it's more common to group the numbers in Persian. For example. This phone number would probably be read as 0 912 338 745. This makes them shorter to say and easier to remember. But how do you say numbers above 10? In the next lesson, we're going to learn just that. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson. From yek to da. Khodafez! سلام، غذا چی میل دارید؟ میتونم لیست غذا رو ببینم؟ بله، خدمت شما لطفا کمی آب برایم میآورید؟ بله، چند لحظه؟ بفرمایید ببخشید، میتونم غذا رو سفارش بدم؟ We're going to learn how to go shopping in Iran or any Persian-speaking country. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? If you want to know the exact translation, it would be, چقدر است? چقدر است? But normally, in Iran, we use this instead. چند است? چند است? Are you ready to go shopping in Iran? Let's go. You see something you like, I want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say is, Babakhshid. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Babakhshid, in chand ast? Babakhshid, in chand ast? We need to ask this question while pointing at something. Asking, how much is this? Or that? That's why we need to add either this or that before chand ast. Since Persian is a gender neutral language, you will only use this or that, as in English. It always agrees between genders. This, in, that, on. How much is this? In chand ast. In chand ast. How much is that? On chandast. On 
چند است. Now, if you want to put an object in here, remember that you always put an object or a noun after this and that. For example, if you want to ask for the price of a hat, kola, near you, it would be bebakhshid. In kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is this hat? Bebakhshid. In kola chand ast. And if it was a bit further, you would say bebakhshid. On kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is that hat? Bebakhshid. On kola chand ast. At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying the price. The currency in Iran is toman. For example, in sat toman ast. This is a hundred tomans. In sad toman ast. Or he will just simply answer sad toman. Now it's time for Anita's advice. A quicker way to ask how much is chande. So when you ask for a coffee or a kahve at a cafe, you can ask Yek kahve lotfan. Chande. One coffee please. How much is it? At this point, can you count tomans in Persian? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Khodafez.